Aloha yogis, welcome to a back strengthening yoga class. Today we will need no props, just our mats, and let's begin with laying flat on our back. And as we lay flat on our backs, our knees can remain bent. And I just want you to start bringing your awareness to slow, deep breathing into your belly. And just start to get familiar with the gentle rise and fall of the breath and slowly inhaling. Bring left hand to your navel, right hand to your heart. Relax your tongue, your jaw, your forehead. And just breathe to inflate your hands. Feel the tummy rise and start tuning into your heart beating into your chest. And if it helps to visualize a wave of the ocean gently rising and crashing into the shore, use this deep breathing to begin to quiet your mind and slowly begin to tilt your legs back and forth I call this like a windshield wiper. Try to move very slowly. Start to work the obliques, the hips. Gently and slowly breathing deep. Move the feet a little closer back together, hips distance apart. Wrap the shoulders underneath and inhale the hips up to the sky. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, root through the big toe, squeezing the hamstring, squeeze the glutes, hips to heaven. Exhale, back down. Inhale, one more time. This really starts to prepare us for our back bends. Another nice deep breath. Slowly inhale, back up to the sky and begin to extend your left leg all the way up. Exhale to the earth, inhale rise, exhale down, inhale lift, exhale down, inhale lift, really try to lengthen through that heel, exhale down, inhale rise, exhale down, release to the floor. Opposite side, right leg lengthens, inhale hips to sky, exhale to mat, Exhale back down, inhale lift, exhale down, inhale lift, really squeeze, exhale release, inhale up, exhale down, bend the leg. Good job. Taking the feet wide, let the knees rest comfortably together. And if the knees don't touch in this pose, that's okay. You can put a block between your legs. or just do the best you can. Let your arms go wide like a cactus pose and gently scoot the hips to the right, bend the knees and let them fold over, stacking to the left side. Look over towards the right hand. This is a gentle way to start opening up the back, the hips, even our heart and our shoulders. Come back to the center. We're gonna slowly scoot that left hip to the left side of the mat, hug the knees into the chest, and gently over to the other side, looking towards the left hand. And always check in with your breathing. Feel your body melt into the floor. Inhale back to center. And gently rock up. just going to swing our legs around coming into a tabletop position and begin a few rounds of cat cow so I want the shoulder directly over the wrist and knees hips distance apart you can look through the legs and check before we do cat cow just gently sway the hips back and forth really let go in the lower spine this is such a nice way to decompress the back and if you'd like to add on slow rotations of the head, deep breaths into the belly, 
And here you can close your eyes, get as expansive as you like, and gently go counterclockwise with the head. I find this pose to be really liberating, just allowing us to move intuitively, so enjoy. You can make really big movements or really small. Arch the spine, lift your heart into cow pose. Exhale, round the belly, round the shoulders, round the chin, cat pose. Deep inhale, lifting the heart, cow. Exhale, round the cat. And just pay attention to the hips here. So inhale, cow tilt, we open up the hips, we lift them. Exhale, we round the hips inward. Inhale, we lift hips, arch spine. And now tuck toes and take the sit bones close to the heels. Just a little toe stretch here. Keeping that cow tilt. Exhale, round into cat. Inhale, arch into cow. Deep breath. Toe stretch, lean back. And gently press up all the way into downward dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Getting oriented. I know this is the beginning of our practice. Root through the pointer finger thumb. Turn those triceps to the back wall. Ears are in alignment with your bicep. As we open the armpits towards the earth, send the shoulders down the spine and begin to lengthen through the back four corners of our back. Inhale forward into plank. Exhale into downward dog. Gently bend the left and right knee, slowly walking in place. This is just to explore your body, how you feel in this pose, how we can create a little more openness in the back of our hamstrings and our calves tend to be very tight. Inhale forward into plank, starting to just firm up our sides. And now we're going to go into floating upward dog. It's one of my favorite poses. Exhale into downward dog. So we're going to go back and forth a few rounds with that. Nice deep breath here. Find your stillness. Inhale forward into floating dog. Send the upper chest through the arms. Lift the quads and begin to send the head to the sky. Exhale, downward dog. Nice deep breath. Inhale, floating upward dog. So beautiful, so strong for our back bends. Gently let the legs release, slide arms towards the torso, coming onto our forearms. We're gonna enter Sphinx Pose and begin to lengthen our back right leg. You might find this very challenging, so make sure you find your breath. Begin to lengthen and flex the left leg, floating it up. And gently press all the way into a plank. Exhale, downward dog. To inhale into an upward floating dog and we're going to put it together by lengthening our back right leg float it up release inhale left leg floats up release to the floor come back to downward dog beautiful job these poses might feel new and really challenging so be patient especially with yourself Begin to take your right leg all the way through into a low lunge. Arms up overhead, palms together. Look to the sky for a deeper stretch. And this pose literally squeezes the fat from our hips. Such an awesome pose. Take the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. A nice another twist. Anytime we twist, we are purifying our body. We are letting healthy oxygen blood flood through when we release. So extend that back leg for an added challenge if you want to rise up. Create space with the upper body so the torso should be lifted off the thigh. Inhale, both arms up over our head. And this is for our twisted crescent pose. Right hand goes back, left arm forward. So I like to say like you're serving pizza. Exhale, leg back. And let's skip our chaturanga. Just go right into a floating upward dog and maybe the body's starting to heat at this point. Exhale into our nice downward dog. Take a deep breath here. 
Beautiful. Yogis, you stay exactly where you are. I'm just turning around so you can see from the other side. So let's take left leg all the way through. Same series now on the opposite side. You can lift your heart up, bring your hands together for an added stretch. Bring hands to prayer, elbow to knee, twist. Beautiful. Slow, deep breaths, raise that back leg up. If you feel wobbly, make sure that front leg can be out a little wider. That always helps with balance. Inhale, arms up, right arm forward, left arm back. Beautiful. Inhale, arms to the sky. Let's just step to the top of the mat. Again, you stay where you are. You stay facing front. I'm just rotating to demonstrate. Let's bend our knees, lifting our hearts in cactus pose, offering our heart to the sky. Such a powerful pose here. Bend the knees, bend the elbows, lift the heart. It's offering our heart. I know it might make us feel a little vulnerable, but I find it to be very powerful. Bend elbows, bend knees, lift heart, and now take right arm underneath left, palms touch. Float this right leg over the left. This is called Eagle Pose. Very good shoulder stretch, great for our balance. Draw up and in with the navel, gently unbind. Inhale, arms back to cactus. Exhale, left arm underneath right. Opposite leg, float left leg up, cross over. And try to wrap that foot around the calf. Deep breaths, lifting the elbow slightly for a deeper stretch into the shoulders. Exhale, inhale up to the sky. And gently float fingertips down to the earth. Bending the thigh so the torso's on the thigh. Inhale and flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. That lets us get a little deeper. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, arch the spine, cow tilt, hands to hips, gently rise back up into standing. Now let's take our feet super wide so you can take a nice step to the side of your mat. For women, I call this goddess pose. For men, I call it sumo wrestling. <laughs> take the feet wide and gently dip left shoulder forward and then right shoulder forward. And just go back and forth. This is so nice. Sometimes the back even cracks. We get a little adjustment. It's very, it's one of my favorite poses. Linking breath with movement. Gently inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, bow. Let's bring our fingertips to the middle of our mat, aligning the crown of our head with the floor. Shoulders to elbows to wrist on a 90 degrees bend. Inhale, arch. Exhale, bow even deeper. Inhale, lift. I'm just turning sideways to demonstrate here, so I want you to stay where you are. We're gonna bring our feet wide and lower the sit bones towards the heels. Elbows to the inside of our knees, bring our hands to prayer, lift our hearts. This is such a good pose. This is malasana, good for our digestion. Dip the right arm through, exhale left arm around if you want to find the bind. It's okay if we're not that flexible yet to reach our hands. Inhale, back to center. And let's wrap the left arm around and interlace the hands. Opening up that right shoulder to the sky. A little smile, deep breath. And gently, without using our hands, let's see if we can just roll onto our mats. And as we do, let's begin to prepare for our back bend. Nice and warm, bending the knees. Inhale, hips up to the sky, wrap those shoulders underneath. 
and hips to heaven. And maybe we can get the hips a little higher now because our bodies are warm. Exhale down. Inhale, rise. Back to Banda Bridge. Just connecting our mind to our bodies, opening our hearts, really strengthening our legs. Exhale, release. This is how we get our bikini body. And now fingertips towards the shoulders. We're first going to keep the same shape that we just did in bridge, but inhale to the crown of our head. Little to no weight onto the head. That's part of just being very safe. And then inhale, press up, lifting the heart towards the back wall, knees to the front of the room. You have the option to raise the heels, exhale them down. And our one-legged wheel pose. Exhale, come down. You can try the other side if you like. Inhale, right knee bends. Extend the leg, flex the foot. Deep breath, release down to the floor. Gently go towards the head, through the arms, onto the back. And here now, it's a very powerful, very dynamic pose. So just take a moment to recenter on the mat, getting grounded again, reconnecting with our breathing. And just remember there's no rush to achieve any of these poses. We're just simply building as we go. It's a lifelong practice, yogis. Take the knees, open them up into bound angle pose, Supta Baddha Konasana, right hand on navel, left hand on heart. Really try to relax your lower abdomen. And remember that deep breath we started in the practice. We're going to just return to that nice, deep, slow breathing. Arms go wide like angel wings. Take hips to the right side of the mat. Let them stack over to the left side. Look over to the right hand. Offering your worries to the earth your heart to the sky. Beautiful, come back to center. Left hips to left side. Stack the knees over to the right side and look over to the left. Another nice deep breath in. Just observe at this point what's shifting in the body. Reaching up and through, coming into happy baby. Some people like to rock side to side here. Just go gently, make sure the soles of the feet are towards the sky, and if you can't reach your feet just yet, grab hold of the ankles or calves. And begin to lower down into Shavasana where we worked really hard. And I just invite you now to open your hands to the sky, and release all of your efforts, returning to a state of receptivity. Gently begin to turn over in a fetal position, cradle your head in your hands, symbolically just beginning anew, kind of a renewal or rebirth into our mental state, our emotional state. And when you're ready, let's press all the way up into seated, Sukhasana easy pose. 
Beautiful job, yogis. We're just extending gratitude to the space that we got to practice in today. We're in beautiful Maui, grateful to connect to nature and our own inner nature, harmonizing with the planet. Grow tall out through the crown of our head. Take a nice, slow, deep breath in. Close pointer finger thumb, extend through the fingertips. Excellent practice today. Thank you so much for joining me. Bring your hands to your heart. And I always like to say, bow your head to your heart, your own wisest teacher. Namaste, yogis. Beautiful job.